All right, now here, here we are in Substance Painter. I have my model in here. And you'll notice that I have, uh, my tires are actually on a separate material than the rest of my car. So you can see that there. So of course, the first thing we wanna do here is bake out our texture sets um, or our mesh maps. So I'm gonna go over to my texture set setting and I'm gonna choose a size for each one. I don't want the tires to be the same resolution as the car because the car is much bigger. It's gonna need a higher resolution. So I'm gonna set the car to 4096 and I'm gonna set my uh, tires here to 2048. They could, they really should probably be um, either 1024 or my car should be an 8K texture, but I'm gonna keep it at this. And then we're gonna scroll down here to our texture sets and bake mesh maps. And the only setting that I'm changing here between the two of them is I wanna make sure that I have used a low poly mesh as high poly mesh and I want to make sure my output um, mesh maps are going to be the same as my model. So I'm going to set my uh, my car to 4096 and then I'm going to set my uh, tires to 2048. Actually it looks like no matter what they're both going to be the same. So let's just go ahead and set them both to 4096. And then we'll just go ahead and hit uh, bake selected textures. Make sure we have both of those checked. So it does them both at the same time. You can just do one at a time if you want. Um, so I could just do, I suppose I could just do my uh, car by itself at uh, 4096 and then my tires at 2048, but um, we'll just do it this way and hit bake selected textures. And this will go through and bake all of my mesh maps that will allow me to use my smart objects or smart materials and smart masks and things like that. So once that is all done, should take, you know, about a minute, just depending on the size of the textures that you're, you're baking out and the, um, the size of the model. Um, so when that's done, we can just hit return to painting mode. And we'll take a look at the tires. Now you will notice that there will be a line in your tires. Now this is because we, um, we kind of did our UVs this way where it kind of extends beyond our UV texture. And basically what's causing this line is our ambient occlusion. So for the tires themselves, I'm just going to kill the ambient occlusion uh, mesh map. So we can just hit X, X that out and then get rid of our mesh map for our ambient occlusion. Now to uh, apply our textures that we've made to our tire, what we need to do is first add them. So I'm gonna come over here to my assets and click this plus sign. I'm gonna add resources. I'll navigate to where those files are. Um, and we want the um, height map and the uh, alpha for the texture as well. So I'm gonna open both of those. I'm gonna define both of these as a texture and I'm going to import them into my current project and hit import. And then we'll see them right there. So to actually apply these to our model, what we need to do is now go over to our layers and create a new fill layer. And we can name this something like tire base. And then for this fill layer, we'll go, come down to the properties here. And all I'm going to need here is uh, probably um, emissive. Um, we'll, we'll leave roughness. Uh, we don't need opacity. Don't need normal. Don't need metal. Um, we just need uh, height, color, and roughness. So for the roughness, um, I'm just going to leave it at it as it is for now. For the height, I'm going to come and drag and drop my height map into height right there. And then we'll see the, the all those details pop in for that, which is really cool. And then I'm gonna drag my um, alpha here that I made into my base color. And then that pops in, which is really cool. And then you can just kind of alter the roughness to what you see fit. 
So I think uh, new shiny tires are going to be very shiny. You know, not quite that shiny, but probably uh, something around 25% roughness. If they're older, they're going to be obviously more matte, but it just depends on how clean they are. And then we can go ahead and start adding some cool details like uh, like dirt and things like that. So we can add a, a new base layer here. And for this base layer, I'm just going to do um, maybe a tiny bit of height, uh, roughness, and color. Um, so for the height, I'm just going to bring it up a tiny, tiny bit. It's like 0.02 or something. Um, and this is going to be dust or dirt. So it's going to be fairly rough. And then for the color, we can do like a brownish, tannish color like that. And then we just need to add a, a smart mask. So we can kind of just look through these and see which smart mask we want. It's old paint, rust, rust. I think there's a couple, there's just some soft dust there. Couple different soft dusts, dust plastic. Um, so, like anything that says occlusion, that's not going to work, obviously, because we don't have an occlusion map here. Um, but uh, this dust plastic should work well. And all we have to do is just drag and drop this into our mask for that layer, and then you'll see your your dust applied to that. Um, we can come down to the mask editor here and sort of mess with the settings for that contrast. Balance. So just sort of the amount of dust. So just sort of mess with it until you find something you like. We can also come up here and just drop the uh, opacity on it as well if we want to make it a bit more subtle. All right, and then that's how we apply our maps that we made to our tires. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, series of videos. Um, if you have any ideas for new videos I should make, please comment below, um, and I'd be happy to make some new videos for you. Thanks.